my name on this site is Katie Diaz. Um, I live in the Philadelphia area, a little bit west of Philadelphia, southeast Pennsylvania. Uh, this is Matt Lawrence. I live in Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, wife and children and uh, practice law. I'm Dwayne Oyen. I live in the far exurbs of Minneapolis. I'm not sure it was much of a journey. Um, in the late 60s, there was this television um, uh, extravaganza for the presidential campaign that featured Gore Vidal and William F. Buckley Jr. debating each other. Uh, and I think it was ABC. And um, there was a news report that, uh, uh, that there was a dust-up between the two where uh, Vidal referred to Buckley as a crypto-Nazi, and Buckley lost it and said, yeah, yeah. You stop calling yeah. me a crypto-Nazi. Let's, let's stop calling I'll names. I'll you in the goddamn get... face, and let's... you'll stay plastered. Gentlemen. And I said, gee, that sounds kind of more interesting than the television we usually see. So then I went and I found a book by Buckley, which was written in 1965, which is still the best campaign memoir that I've read, uh, called The Unmaking of a Mayor. And I started reading that, and it was funny, and it was fun, and then I found National Review and uh, dug up a few of those, and uh, then I kind of moved on from there. Um, I can't really think of a time where, at my core, I didn't have what I would say just sort of traditional thoughts about the way things ought to be done. My family, by and large, is like that. Um, my mother's father certainly was, and certainly was inform informative to me. Uh, I've got his copy of, a, of a Hayek. Not a lot of South Georgia farmers reading Austrian economics, uh, and I was fortunate to be around my grandfather and listen to him sort through, you know, why things should be different than they are. I really never had a lights on moment. My father was very much a Reaganite conservative. He was a long time subscriber to National Review. Myself remember loving Reagan when I was in high school and college. Finding it a little bit, you know, that putting me a little bit in the minority and so keeping my mouth shut about it and um, then it was really be through religious life I guess by becoming more more um, consciously Christian more dedicated um, in that way and just finding a perfect alignment between what I held religiously and uh, what Reagan was fighting for in the world and then when I went to graduate school in philosophy that was during the time um, the, my first semester, I think it was, in graduate school is when I, over, I was over in Europe and the wall fell down. I was hoping that Mike Pence would join in because he seemed to me the, the one who can best um, win the confidence of both wings, you could say, of, the, of conservatism, the social, and the um, fiscal. Right now, I'm just full of misgivings about them all. I don't have a, a genuine, a, you know, a, a sort of someone who I'm pinning my hopes on. Yeah, if I could wave a magic wand, the president would be Palenti, and it's not because I'm from Minnesota. And, and because he has all of the characteristics, he's witty, he's smart, he's tough. The toughness doesn't come off in the, uh, uh, in the, you know, the public appearances that you see him make on. Uh, on Fox News or something like that, uh, but but to to deal with this legislature the way it's been, uh, you have to be tough. Um, he's uh, he's he's a, a Catholic working boy from a working class family where nobody ever went to college, and his dad was a truck driver, and so he went to college and worked his way through the university just like I did, same school, and um, and you know, went into politics and has done extremely well, and he's got the kind of good-natured, thick hide that's necessary to be able to deal with those things and brush them off with humor, and yet a depth of policy wonkishness that I do not see in many of the other people. You know, when you get to people like uh, 
You, you get to people like Huckabee and Palin and some of the other people, fine people though they may be, it, it's more like I'm I'm into this because I want to be on the stage and um, and that's fine and they're they're light years better than the people on the other side. There is no one that I can think of that immediately comes to mind that's impressive to me in the slightest. At one point in time on a ricochet post, I made the observation that, you know, a hundred years ago, whoever the president was really didn't matter to most people in their day-to-day -day lives. And that's what I want to see. I wanted to go back to to that type of, you know, the federal government is way off there, and it just doesn't really matter in our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, of course, that's, I'm sure, kind of pie in the sky. You might be sitting there rolling your eyes, but that's, uh, it, it, it'd certainly be nice.